I don't know how about you, but I am so over this gray winter already. We haven't seen the sun in months. I live in Germany, by the way. And it just affects how I feel, how I look. I am ready for spring and I need a glow up. My hair got way too long and the ends are getting dry, so I want to cut my hair. I usually get a haircut every six months to keep my hair healthy. Because I heat style my hair a lot, the ends tend to get damaged. I am very much over this nail color. It is also outgrown, so it is starting to look bad and we need to fix it. I also just want to have a spa day, get a self tan, because we're all pale here. Take care of my skin, get a boost of nutrients and vitamins and help myself to get through the last two weeks of winter. The first step of getting ready for spring glow up is to get some flowering plants. Look at these gorgeous and bright colors. Just looking at them makes me happy. Yesterday I went to a garden center and picked these lovely plants. It says that this one blooms for 50 days. How wonderful is that? This is an evergreen azalea. I have a red begonia here and just a simple prime rose that is going to live on my balcony as well as this little guy that is yet to start blooming. I need to find them better pots but this is a mission for another day. Right now they are in quarantine to make sure they are healthy and don't have any pests. Something you might not know about me, I have a lot of plants in my house. Taking care of plants is a big hobby of mine. It's time for some skincare. I want to use this Korean Magwort mask from the brand I'm from. I love this mask. It smells amazing. I love how it makes my skin feel. It is very gentle. I have sensitive and problematic skin and many face masks cause irritation. And this one is very soothing and hydrating. I leave it for about 10 minutes and then I rinse it off with warm water. While I'm waiting, I'm gonna drink this smoothie. I love this brand. They have it in different colors depending on which fruit they mix. This one is very cute and pink. So this is a great way to get some nutrients on the day when I can't be bothered to make a fresh smoothie myself. It's super easy and it helps to get some extra vitamins. I just washed off my mask. Now I'm gonna spray my Tatcha Skin Mist for some hydration. I will lock the moisture in with this Hyaluronic Serum from Osea. I love it so much. I am running low so I need to place another Osea order. I'm gonna use this black tea eye cream from Pyunka Nul, another Korean skincare brand. I'm getting back into my Korean skincare appreciation. They have some really lovely products. Uh, it's more affordable than many Western brands, yet the performance is better in my opinion. And finally I'm gonna use my Osea Atmosphere Protection Cream. So you just saw me using five skincare products and this is my full-on skin glow up spa day. I don't use face masks every day. I've noticed the less I do to my skin, the better it looks. We really don't need 10-step daily skincare routines and 5,000 products in our arsenal. Keep it simple. Find the products that work for your skin type and stick to it. Don't waste your money on marketing propaganda that tries to convince everyone that without these products, you can't have beautiful skin. You absolutely can and you don't even need that much. I believe in taking care of the health of our skin internally, not just slapping the products on our faces. This means a healthier, more clean diet, less processed food, less sugar. It means regular exercising. I personally go to the gym three to four times a week. It means getting enough sleep. Eight hours is the best. I usually get around seven, but I used to suffer from insomnia, so seven hours is actually very good for me. It means less stress. The older I get, the less I allow external factors to affect my inner balance. We're all gonna deal with difficult situations and difficult people. It's just life. We can't eliminate that. What we can control is how we react to it. I used to be very reactive and I allow all these things to trigger a stress response within me. And then I would be upset about it all day and overthink it too much. Now, when I notice that this is the case, I choose not to give this a bigger importance than it deserves. I acknowledge it happened, I acknowledge my feelings and let it go. I don't let myself soak in it anymore and it really improved the quality of my life. I just did my makeup real quick. 
I showed it many times on my channel. I use the same products. I do the same things. If you want to see it, I recently posted a video just for that. So you can watch that. I'm not going to do it here again because it's getting repetitive. It's time to do my nails. I usually do my own gel manicure at home. I'm very sensitive about other people touching my nails. Uh, there are very few people I trust my nails with and none of them live here in Frankfurt. So I just bought all the necessary products and tools and taught myself how to do it. I watched many YouTube tutorials. Uh, at the beginning, it wasn't that good, but over time I gained enough practice and experience so now I can do my own nails like in a salon and it's a lot more budget friendly and during the times like uh, COVID lockdowns I it was a very useful skill because I wasn't relying on other people to do my nails. The first step is to take the surface layer of my gels with an electric file and a regular file. The one I have is not so good. I will not recommend this to you, so I'm sure you can find something better. But this just makes the process of taking off the coating layer a little bit faster. So the first layer is off. A pro tip, you want to use a face mask and also open the windows because you don't want to breathe in all this dust and chemicals that we're using here. I might invest into this platform on which you do your nails that kind of sucks in all the dust when you're filing maybe in the future right now i don't have it so i do my best with the face mask and the open windows to make sure i don't breathe in all this stuff the next step is to soak your nails in pure acetone this is the gentlest way to remove your gel nails you don't want to file it all the way down because it's very likely that you will uh, kind of file off the, the protection layer of your nail. You don't want to scrape off the gels, you don't want to file them down, you want to soak them in the acetone to the point where the remaining gel just basically easily falls off from your nail. It sounds kind of gross. I use this lint-free uh, cotton pads. I'm not sure if it's made out of cotton, but you know what I mean. Et voila! So now I'm just gonna wait and let it soak for about 10 minutes. In the meanwhile, I will watch some YouTube videos. Most of the stuff, the snail clippers, the, the pure acetone, the lid-free uh, paper thingies, uh, my nail files, my LED lamp, everything I got on Amazon. I like it. I had it for a while. It's very inexpensive and it gets the job done. So I washed and prepped my nails and I applied a base coat. This one is from Madame Glam. Actually, they reached out to me and they wanted to work with me and I rejected that collaboration because most of the products that they sent to me I didn't like at all. They sent me a bunch of different colors, they sent me a lamp and it was a very bad quality. I told them that I don't want to work with them. The only two products that I like from everything that they sent to me were the top coat and the base coat. These two are good, everything else I do not recommend it. So now I'm gonna apply this pink gel, uh, gel nail polish. I got it on Amazon. This is what I use 90% of the time. I really like this one. I tried many different brands. I didn't like most of them and this one really worked for me so I keep using it. And the nails are finished now. This is the final result. After I applied my pink gel lac, I used the top coat and I cured it under the lamp and I applied some cuticle oil and this is final look. This is a lot more me color. This is not annoying or irritating to me. I like red and burgundy nail polishes every once in a while, but after a week or so of wearing it, I kind of get tired of it and I want to get rid of it. I never get tired of these like nude light pink colors. They're just very subtle and yeah, I think it's very feminine. I think it's very elegant and flattering for most women. So nails are done and this is it for today. Tomorrow I'm going to a spa and then to a massage and finally I'm gonna cut my hair so I will see you tomorrow. It is day two of my glow up routine. Today I am going to a spa. I will have a massage and a haircut. It is an absolutely miserable and gray day outside but I will not let this affect my mood. I will take my vitamin D and enjoy my pumpering sessions. I don't know how much I can film in those places. I will probably keep it short. I had a wonderful spa day. Sana has a ton of benefits. I watched the video with Dr. Rhonda Patrick who talked in depth about how regular sauna use can minimize the risk of cardiovascular diseases, dementia, and many other brain-related issues. Obviously, it is very good for improving our blood circulation and overall relaxation, especially when it's so cold and dark outside. I try to go to the sauna at least twice a week after the gym. I also had an amazing full body massage. Just finished my massage. I'm feeling so relaxed. 
Massage is probably my favorite form of self-treatment. I feel so rejuvenated and alive after that. And as you can see, I got a haircut. I love my new hair, even though I asked to cut just the ends. My head still feels lighter. The ends are a lot more neat and she styled it perfectly. I love my hairdresser. She's such a lovely lady. The final step for my glow up is to apply a self tan. I don't always use a self tan, but after a long winter, I feel like my skin has no color. I look translucent because again, I haven't seen any sunshine this winter. So let's change that. I use Saint Tropez Self Tan Mousse Express and I apply it with this mitt. I will exfoliate my body, get rid of all the oils after my massage and apply this for 3 hours. I will try to show you before and after without revealing too much. Okay, this lighting makes it look much better than it actually is. Trust me, I am pale. So this is my before. And this is how I look after the tan. As you can see, it is very natural and even. I've been using Saint Tropez for a few years now and it consistently gives me good results with the right prep, of course. I love it, I feel good. And if you feel like you're in a slum and you're also ready to welcome spring, do something nice for yourself. Treat yourself, take care of yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week.